So as we move into 2016, it will be interesting to see what the market does because 2015 saw frenzied buying, particularly through the winter months when there was a shortage of stock. And as more stock was put onto the market, as we went into springtime, we did have a little bit of a, a softening or pulling back of the market, but we're not sure whether that was because there is that many more properties available or there has been a somewhat of a bit of a correction in the market. So we're likely to know one way or the other as we head through into 2016 and into Easter as to what the market is going to be doing. Because what we were seeing through 2015 was there was frenzied buying at auction. People were paying ridiculous amounts of money and on the flip side, vendors were probably having expectations that were a little bit higher. So I think what's going to happen in 2016 is vendors are going to have to be more realistic about what the market is prepared to pay for the same types of property. There has also been the time lag with the interest rate changes that occurred and also the bank's lending criteria increasing and making it a little bit more difficult for first time owners and investors to get into the marketplace. So we haven't actually seen the full effect of that take place yet either. So that's another interesting factor to watch in 2016 because there were changes to lending. APRA was telling banks to do this instead of the other. Banks were going against what the Reserve Bank was doing. Reserve Bank was keeping their rates on hold. Banks were still putting their rates up. And so as, as Michelle said, in 2016, we're going to see the wash through and how that's going to affect the market. Thank you.